Well, new COVID boosters are now available, and federal health officials say we can probably expect to get COVID shots once a year, just like the flu shot. Joining me now is Dr. Dean Winslow, infectious disease specialist at Stanford Healthcare. So, uh, Dr. Winslow, thank you for joining us. So what do you think about this move and what happens if a new variant pops up? Yeah, so one, one thing I'd like to emphasize, though, is this, uh, you know, BA4, BA5 Omicron variant really seems to have a lot of staying power. It's very transmissible. A uh, little bit of good news is it appears to cause probably a little less severe disease than, uh, you know, the original Wuhan uh, variant. But I, you know, highly recommend as soon as you get a chance uh, to uh, get your, uh, uh, you know, what, what's called bivalent booster, because the new booster has uh, both uh, the original strain as well as the BA4, BA5 Omicron variant. So you just touched upon that. So how much extra protection do the updated booster shots actually provide against COVID and specifically against Omicron? And if you already got your other booster, how long should you wait between those booster shots? Absolutely. Well, you know, a couple of questions you asked there. So again, the, uh, uh, this new uh, bivalent uh, uh, booster really provides, you know, significant extra protection against these variants that, uh, uh, whereas the original uh, uh, Wuhan strain uh, vaccine provided pretty good protection against serious illness and death, uh, it, uh, uh, it, it did not prevent uh, infection. So the hope is that uh, the new bivalent uh, booster will be even more effective. Um, the recommendations are that if you just got the regular booster that only contained the Wuhan strain, uh, you're supposed to wait approximately eight weeks or so, a couple of months uh, from the previous uh, booster, just so you'll have a more optimum immune response. And of course, it's that time of year where a lot of us start getting that flu shot. So is it safe to get the flu shot and the COVID booster shot at the same time? It, it certainly is. Again, the, the types of reactions that uh, most people have to both the flu shot and the, uh, uh, the mRNA uh, COVID vaccines are usually pretty mild. And there's no evidence that, you know, taking both vaccines at the same time, uh, you know, is harmful. And just, you know, a lot of us are busy. And, uh, you know, I'm personally uh, uh, probably next week uh, going to get uh, both, uh, both my bivalent booster and my annual flu shot at the same time. And it seemed for a while that new COVID variants were showing up all the time, but those mutations have seemed to stall, at least for now. I don't want to jinx it, but any idea why that is happening? Yeah, I think part of the reason is, is that uh, the, this uh, BA4, BA5 Omicron variant is just so transmissible that it really has uh, staying power. Um, I, I do think, though, that we will very likely see, you know, continued uh, gradual evolution of the virus. But again, just the kind of the natural history of infections is, is that pathogens tend to uh, uh, mutate or, or uh, evolve, you know, toward being more transmissible. Uh, so, again, I think uh, BA4, BA5 uh, uh, is still uh, making up uh, by far the big majority of infections around the world. Uh, however, again, ongoing surveillance is going to be real important, uh, just like it is uh, with the flu, uh, you know, the flu infection, which you know we've done for years. And so, my my sense is is that your annual COVID shot, you know, will uh, be slightly different, uh, you know, at least every couple of years or so, just as our flu shots uh, have uh, slightly different strains of viruses in them each year. All right, always good information, Dr. Dean Winslow for Stanford Healthcare. Thank you for joining us. You're welcome. Thank you.